y'all. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jacqueline and this is Low Carb Lish, the channel where we make low carb versions of our favorite high carb foods to try to control our blood sugars and reverse our type 2 diabetes. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're my regular peeps, welcome back. Today we are going to be making a really, really simple and delicious cranberry orange nut gelatin dessert. And I first um, had this recipe um, well, something similar to this um, when I was still eating high carb and my friend would make it every year at Thanksgiving and Christmas and we called it cranberry crack because I could not stay out of it. Like it was completely addictive to me and I would tell her just like don't give me too much because I knew I wasn't going to be able to stop eating it. So I decided this year that I was going to try to make um, a low carb version of it and I have done it and I've made it twice now and it's been a hit with other people too so I'm really happy with it because it's very similar to the other recipe that I used to have but I'm happy that other people like it too because that lets me know that it's also tasty to them so it's real simple I've got a half a bag or six ounces of um, cranberries that are zhuzhed up in the uh, food processor and I've chopped some um, one-fourth of a cup of almonds uh, or not almonds one-fourth of a cup of pecans and one-fourth of a cup of walnuts. I've got a fourth of a cup of unsweetened um, coconut flakes. I've got half a cup of monk fruit that I just put through my um, grinder to powder it. And it's important that you powder it. If you don't powder it, it's going to sink to the bottom of your dessert. Um, and if you powder it, that won't happen. Then I've got a tablespoon of lime juice and I've got the zest of one orange. And if you have people in your house that can eat oranges, then let them have at it, drink the juice or whatever. If you're like me and you don't, cut it up and toss it outside for the wildlife. The critters will thank you. So it's super simple, like I said, um, and it doesn't take long at all. I'm gonna, I've got one package of raspberry jello. You can also do this with um, black cherry jello, but I just prefer the raspberry. It's got that little tangy taste to it that I really like. So I go with the raspberry when I'm doing this. And then I've got one cup of really, really hot water. I'm going to pour in here and stir this up until it dissolves completely. And you guys, this is so good. I, I just don't even know how to begin to tell you <laughs> how good this is to me. It's one of those um, recipes that when you figure out how to do the low carb version of it, you're just like, oh, yes. And that is the way I feel about this recipe. It is just so good to me. And if you like cranberry and orange and nuts and everything and some of the desserts that you have over the holidays, I think you're really going to like this. Hi, Miss Pris. Macy's been um, patrolling the perimeter today. Our neighbors have put out some <laughs> Christmas decorations and some of them dance and stuff. She thinks they're possessed. So when she sees them, um, they turn them on at night and they start moving. I get about five minutes barking till she just lets them know who's boss. So, all right, and then I've got one cup of really cold water that we're going to put in here and let this cool off. And I'm just going to set this aside while I show you what we're going to do with the rest of this stuff. So we're just going to set this over here out of, out of frame for right now, but I'll bring it back in a minute. So the next step is to take your... Um, powdered monk fruit and add it to the cranberries that I've chopped up and I'm going to put some footage on here um, I'm filming by myself today so I just did a little bit of close-up footage before I got started here just to show you guys how small I've got the cranberries and the nuts chopped up and um, I'll just add that onto here before we get to the taste test part because I'm going to have to put this in the refrigerator and then through the magic of video when I come back, it'll be um, gelled and we'll eat some of it and I'll show you guys how delicious it is. Macy has found her frog, or not her frog, her hog. She's got a hog toy that just makes the goofiest sound and she loves it. So she's playing with that right now. So if y'all hear that, I apologize, but it's the holiday. She's playing. Okay, so we've got our monk fruit mixed in with our cranberries. And... Um, we're just going to let that sit to the side for about, I don't know, two or three minutes. It's not going to be long. And then we're going to add all of the other stuff in um, to the gelatin. I made a little mess, y'all. Hold on just a second. So I am going to 
Be back in just a minute and we'll get everything put together and we'll put it in the refrigerator. Okay, y'all, so it's been a few minutes. I'm going to add my cranberries and my nuts and everything into the jello. And um, we're really, it's really just a matter of just stirring everything together and getting it ready to go into the pan here. Macy's decided she's going to supervise me. And then I'm going to do the lime juice. I think I mentioned the lime juice. There's a tablespoon of lime juice in there, too, in case I didn't mention it. And then we're going to add our coconut flakes in here. And really, y'all, this has got such a nice flavor. And you know what? I just remembered I forgot to get my orange flavoring out, so I have to do that in just a second, too. I add a um, teaspoon and a half of orange flavoring to this as well. And I completely forgot to set it out, y'all. So I'm going to get all of this orange zest in here because it adds so much deliciousness to this recipe. It really does add the extra orange flavor. And I was surprised when I zested the orange and put that in there, how much it really took the place of having the actual oranges in here, which the original recipe had. Let me grab my orange flavor and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my orange flavor in and we're getting ready to add that in here. And like I said, it's one and a half teaspoons, but don't worry about all the amounts because I'm going to have all that down in the description like I always do for y'all with the macros and everything. Um, and... Don't overdo it, like a teaspoon and a half is plenty for this recipe. Alright, and then we're going to stir that all in real well. Well y'all, we've had deer running around the neighborhood this week and Matt, Macy has just been hysterical to me watching the deer and barking at the deer. I've got a friend that lives up in Missouri and her dogs do the same thing and she said they call them dogs with sticks on their heads because their dogs bark like they think it's another dog. So that was pretty funny. It made me laugh. And then we just pour it all into the pan here. And you just want to scrape your bowl. Make sure you get all that cranberry and orange goodness with all the walnuts and the pecans into your gelatin thing. Now my pan here is a 7... I think this is a 7 by 11. I'm not sure my pan size, but I think this is a 7 by 11. Um, and you could put it in a 9 by 13 but it's just going to make your servings be flatter and, you know, thinner. Um, this will make six, <clears throat> excuse me, six really nice servings. And so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm going to chill it for three or four hours. And when I come back, like I said, through the magic video, it'll be gelled up and we'll be eaten. Hey y'all, so it's four hours later. And through the magic of video, we're getting ready to taste this beautiful dessert. Um, I did get a little close-up shot of it for you, so that's what you guys are seeing. And this, like I said, it makes six really nice servings. And um, it's actually worked out perfect for me because I just finished dinner. And I'm getting ready to have a serving of this for my dessert with my coffee and let you guys see it. I'm so excited about this, guys. I just don't even know how much to tell y'all I love how much I love this stuff. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get a pretty piece out here. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. Looks like I'm going to be very nice. Very nice. All right. So, let me set this over here. Uh-oh, I made a little mess. Alright you guys, I know that some of y'all understand what I'm saying when I talk about how sometimes there are some recipes that are just amazing and this one makes me so happy because it was one of those things that I thought I was never going to be able to have again when I started eating low carb and so for me to be able to make something so similar to what I used to have, it just makes me happy y'all. So I hope that you guys will give this a try because it really is good. I don't, I'm going to hold it up here and see if you guys can see all this beautiful cranberry, coconut, nuts, 
and I personally don't taste a coconut taste in this. I like the coconut because it gives an extra texture and chew with the other things in it. Um, so if you're one of those people that you're like, oh, I don't really like the way coconut tastes, give it a try because I don't think you're going to be able to detect the coconut flavor, just the texture. So let's give this a try. Mmm. -hmm. You guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And it is perfect with my coffee. Perfect with my coffee. So I hope that you guys will give this a try. I really do think if you like cranberry and orange and nuts, you're going to absolutely love it. And the thing I like about it, it's so easy. It goes together so fast. And no bake. That's always a plus. And this makes a perfect dessert if you're not wanting pumpkin pie or something that's heavier. Hi. <laughs> so down. Yeah. So I thank you guys for coming to see me today and hanging out with me. Macy, thanks you too. Let's be quiet. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic Thanksgiving. And if I don't talk to you, Macy, stop. Who are you talking to? Okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. If I don't talk to you before then, I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.